88.9 FM and WDNA.org. And this is the UN Pros Jazz Hour that comes to you every Thursday at 11 o'clock. And today, of course, you know, every week, you know, we got something special. But today, something special, really something special with the great John Hart on guitar. And uh, before, you know, earlier in the week, we said we were go he was going to do a solo. But he's bringing one of a, a, a very, very special a guy to him, his son, you know, Sam, that is uh, making his debut uh, on drums here in this show, and also Alex Hernandez, who, uh, who's been uh, helping out here at, uh, at UM, too, you know, so, so here we are. And, uh, and we're going on to the first song, it's called Point Siena by Nat Simon. That, that, that's what I heard. Yeah? All righty. I did my research now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sir, that was Point Siena, and uh, I want to uh, remind you that tomorrow we have a what they call the Jazz Encounter, which is once a month at 8 o'clock, and it's going to be a Cuban drummer and composer Calixto Oviedo, who played uh, with Paquito de Rivera, Arturo Sandoval, Gonzalo Rubalcaba, Chucho Valdez, Valdez, uh, Danilo Perez, the, the, David Sanchez, Luis Conte, Ray Barrero, and uh, a, a lot more guys there over there. And uh, to get your tickets, call 305-662-8889. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be tomorrow, it's gonna be great, guys. I can assure you of that. And uh, we're going to now uh, play something that uh, if, uh, most uh, lovers of jazz had heard by Victor Young. Victor Young also was a very good uh, orchestrator. It, 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 most, most of the musical that you heard, the Rogers and Hart and all that, uh, I remember he was a Bob Bennett. But uh, yeah, I think his last name was uh, that he orchestrated most of the uh, musicals of uh, Rogers and Hart and Rogers and Hammerstein. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to play something very, very a very, very famous Stella by Starlight. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. The, you're listening to the Pros Yes Award and uh, at WDNA 88.9 and WDNA.org. And now, if I may, uh, I, I want to do a little interview with you. You know, people that I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah, you got your mic there, especially for you, John, especially for you. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Uh, how's, uh, how's everything going with you? Good? Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying yeah. the summer. We, we work very hard at U of M all year, fall. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, so now, it's nice now, to have a little bit of time yeah. to kind of do some things. That I, yeah, relaxing. I and uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I, I want to point out that this is the first time that uh, when we first started the, the show, we used to have uh, all your kids here. You know, we always did shows with Sam, with the other two. Yes, with Jake. Jake with yeah. Jake. And, uh, uh, you know, we always had a, at least like two or three shows, you know, during the summer. And, uh, you know, like life, you know, uh, they go their own ways. And, and now, uh, at least for a while, you know, where you have Sam with you. So Yeah, yeah. You know, it's great. He's, he's sounding great. And you know, he sounded been great. Playing and playing drums uh, for... Uh, I want to point out that he's also a great sax player. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, the people that know him well know know what I mean. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, is um, how do you start in jazz? Are you uh, by any chance uh, come from a jazz family, or you just pick it up by yourself? I uh, uh, started playing uh, uh, guitar and acoustic guitar, and then played uh, started playing rock. Yeah. Rock. Had a rock band oh, and played band. all the, you know, I grew up in the 70s of so what would now be considered classic rock and blues and yeah. the Almond Brothers. and You listen to and Mike Bloomfield and yes, all those yes, guys. All yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the great blues players and the uh, Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck was kind of a conduit to go from uh, rock to jazz, especially with the uh, records he did. He did a record, uh, Blow by Blow, a very famous record. Yeah, in the seventies, which was kind of a jazz fusion record uh, yeah. from this uh, British. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff Beck and uh, and Jimmy Page, you know, all, yeah, all, yeah. all those Jimmy guys. Page, of course, Jeff yeah, Page, yeah. Jimmy Page, and yeah. the other one, uh, uh, Clapton. Eric Clapton. They all yeah, played Clapton, together. Those three the, were. The yard, yard uh, what was the name of the band that they were? They were. They, they were three of them together. <laughs> the Yardbirds. The Yardbirds. They were all in, yeah. and a, one of them played bass, the guitar. Yeah. They kept switch, switching off. Yeah, but Jeff Beck did, did this this record. I just, uh, you know, he. Uh, uh, passed away this year, you know, very suddenly and stuff. You know, it's hard to imagine him being being gone. And I went back and listened to Blow by Blow, which I bought it when it was brand new when I was a kid. Yeah. And it's amazing. You know, it's just you know the way he plays through chord changes and stuff, like not like a jazz player, but picking a beautiful notes. And the other thing that was shocking to me, that record was produced by George Martin. Jeff, well, yeah, uh, yeah. Jeff yeah. Beck's first, uh, and George Martin did all the the arrangements. People, stuff. People, people don't realize, you know, that of course, you know, the bands, you know, like the Beatles, yeah. uh, they were. Uh, George Martin was a producer, and uh, he had a lot to do, you know, with the sound. Of course, of course you know, yeah. and all the arrangements that you hear. The arrangements he wrote, all the arrangements. Yeah, the orchestral arrangement, especially yeah. uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that was. Right. That was, uh, I, I don't see the Beatles who have done that by themselves, you know. Yeah. I mean, without taking anything from the Beatles, you know, I want to say that, you know. But, uh, right. you know, George Martin and some of the arrangers, that especially in the in the UK, you know, there were some incredible people over yeah. there. And uh, so you, when did, did you decide to become, uh, I don't want to say a full-fledged jazz player, or, uh, you know. You yeah, moved, when, I, you, when, I, you, when I was in high school, well, that was a good way to, you know, I, started listening to that you know that record i was speaking of blow by blow and um, you know the almond Bro i listen to the almond brothers now it's like boy you know i could see going right into jazz from that i mean it's such an improvised uh, music that they're that they're doing and uh, yeah and uh, i think of <clears throat> sometime in high school yeah i just heard miles davis and that was it i kind of made a quick switch and suddenly it was like jazz now i want to play jazz and Listen yeah. to listen to jazz, and I had a great band director in high school, and I had a good guitar teacher in Sarasota, Florida. So those those things all helped. So yeah, that that, that that kind of influence when your main teacher, you know, is a guitar player. Yeah, yeah, and all of that. And you've been in the uh, Frost School of Music how long? You know, the Frost School of Music. I just finished my twelfth year there. So the twelfth so, year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, now we're going to going to listen to uh, something by Antonio Carlos Jobim, one of the greats in all idioms, you know, from uh, Brazil over to the States. And uh, 
and something called How Insensitive. I really don't know the, the title in Portuguese. I forgot, but that's the yeah, way we call insensitive. it here. Insensitive. Insensitive. Yeah, something. Uh, that ends with a T-E-Z. I don't know how to pronounce yeah. it. We'll get it for you, right? <laughs> Thank you. OK, here we go. How Insensitive.
Um, uh, very nice solo by Alex Hernandez there. Very good. Anyway, we're going to uh, take a short break and we'll be right back. Don't move.
back here. Uh, you're listening to the UN Frost Yasa, where it comes to you every Thursday at 11 o'clock uh, through WDNA 88.9 and WDNA.org. And uh, we want to uh, give you a taste of the coming attractions here. Next week, we're going to have uh, Camilo Molina, who is a trumpet player. He's, uh, he was been playing with uh, concert jazz band for quite, for quite a while now. And then uh, the week after, we got Alex Hernandez. He, he, he was just, uh, yeah, he was always telling me, you know, what I'm not from UM. He said, yeah, I don't care if you're from UM, you know, we're going to have you here. You know, I mean, we got a lot of, uh, 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 well, you know, I mean, if John, uh, John says that, you know, he'll, he'll approve me. I think he'll approve me. <laughs> so so, so I, I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, any, anyway, uh, uh, Alex is going to be here with his group, and uh, you know, there's many people from uh, UM at, uh, at FIU. I don't care if, uh, if from FIU, they, they cross the border once in a while, hey? So anyway, it's gonna be, Alex is gonna be on the 22nd, that's in two weeks, and uh, Kyle Schroeder, which is a great sax player with his group, you know, he just has a CD out uh, on the 29th, and then the last, uh, in July, Luke and Stein, Nicole Garcia, JC, Jesse Katz and Mike Ramos. So that's uh, quite, quite a lineup there. So now we're going to uh, play something Falling in Love with Love. And uh, actually that's uh, from the Rogers and Har musical. Rogers and Har musical and uh, the boy boys from Syracuse. So anyway. Thank you. 
Final now uh, from this, as, uh, as I said always, uh, you, you, time goes very fast when you're having a good time. And here we are, it's almost 12 o'clock, and uh, we are going to play our final tune here, Falling in Love with Love. And uh, thank you very much to Alex Hernandez on bass, <laughs> Sam Hart on drums, and John Hart on guitar. Thank you very much for coming, John. and. Uh, and hope uh, you come by yourself and uh, see some of your kids in, in the future, you know, bring them, please. You know, it's, uh, it adds, uh, and uh, yeah, so, so, some musician like Alex too, you know, is, uh, he, he, he gives a lot to, uh, to the show. So anyway, um, we're gonna have um, Camilo Molina next week. And uh, stay tuned for the Latin Jazz Quarters coming right up to after this show. See you later then.
Thank you.